Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock. A man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? <laughs> your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear. As rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You, and the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! Corpulent! That was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? As you were, Watson. Do what you must. Mad. This painting wasn't here last time, was it? Another sinking near Scotland by the Strand for the details. Cool. Thank you, sir. It has been a while, Barnes. Dr. Watson. Indeed it has, and good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Holmes, he, he was quite the inspiration. Last time you were in town, he offered me some stirring advice, which I have since acted upon. Holmes is nothing if not provocative. 
Indeed, the thorny truth is often hard to hear, but it did the job, and now my heart is full. I'm glad to hear it. Much obliged, Doctor. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, an up-and-coming author. I've been following his work in the periodicals. Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. What makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires, and fled the sea, the towers we founded and the lamps we lit. Hmm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, they will be in there. Please, feel free to take a look. It should be on the shelves to the right. Much obliged. Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? That's a long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities... Wow! What a marvel! I can try and translate it for you. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean... or time... Oh my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. For some reason, it makes my skin crawl. Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour, west coast. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. All yours. In the meantime, I will attend to my translation. Much appreciated.
Doctor, look what I just found. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the grim in grimoire. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans, and the apocalypse. See for yourself. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. You have been of great help, so, yes. Excellent. I could barely put it down. Farewell. A fascinating book. Thank you for the opportunity, Doctor. Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction? The Holmes family is beyond counselling, Doctor. True, more deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gore. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces! <clears throat> your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely, you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just do not tell him it came from me. Oh, speaking of the crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. Unlike ones, I don't carry lockpicks. <laughs> Roll Berkshire Regiment. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. A capital M signed by someone else's hand. The spyglass was positioned to watch the windows of the embassy across the road. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. Near perfect camouflage. It makes me wonder if Mycroft also spies in our suite in Baker Street. A wasp's nest. 
They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not tell me Hawk is a turncoat. Worse, I have found him dead in his wheelchair, out in the garden. Hmm. How did he die, exactly? He was stung repeatedly by wasps. His body succumbed to anaphylaxis. And that is all you observed? Was there anything suspicious? Well, there was one thing. In his notes I found a handwritten M, but it didn't match Hawk's other writing. Listen carefully, Doctor. Do not investigate further, do not talk about this matter to anyone, and do not ask questions. Thank you. Now leave it alone. Another sinking near Scotland! Holmes, I have the translation. Barnes will keep researching. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes gave us a preliminary translation of the book. I think we have a lead. Sherlock? What is it? I find myself burdened. Come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession of grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, brothers. And despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your worth, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. Would that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardnamurk, Scotland. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. <laughs> 